hi in this section we will discuss about css css combinators so before going to co the concept of css combinator let's take a simple concept of parent child sibling and descendant so let's consider this hierarchy now a parent p has a child of c1 and c2 and c1 has a child of gc1 and gc2 and c2 has a child of gc3 so now we can say that c1 and c2 are siblings and in the same way gc1 and gc2 are siblings but not gc2 and gc3 because gc2 and gc3 has different parents so for siblings the parents must be same when we say the when we say descendants so it will come as a all childs and its child so now p has the uh, p has the descendants as c1 c2 gc1 gc2 and gc3 and now the same concept is also applied for our html and so let's consider a simple uh, html with a body uh, which has id1 id2 and i and id4 and id1 again has the uh, tails of p and id2 and so this complete hier hierarchy can be represented as body which has the tails of id1 id3 id4 and id1 has the tails of p and id2 and id2 has the tails of p and so we will first go, uh, first take over our uh, first css combinator the first css combinator is a descendant combinator this combinator is defined with a space so when we say hash id1 space p so all the p's all the p tags all the p tags which are under id1 will will have the background color of red so let's consider this example so, uh, so now we we uh, so now we here representing as a hash id1 space p so all the p tags which are under id1 all the p tags which are under id1 has the background color of red so now in this case this this p section and also this p section will have the background color of red and so let's let's run this example and so here where we are seeing the background color of red for both the p sections whereas this p is a direct child of id1 and this is a child child and if you take one more p let's call this as some child and if you take one more p now even this this one will also have the background color of red because because we are taking the here at a space means all the p tags which are under id1 all the p tags which are under id1 will will have the background color of uh, background color of red so now let's run this application again and so here we are getting all the sections all the sections which are under id1 t as a background color of red so now this is a this is our first combinator and and we will see our second combinator which is which is a and which is a child combinator this child combinator is represented by the symbol of greater than so now when i say hash id1 greater than p hash id1 hash id1 greater than p and with with some css values here so now all these css values will be applied for a p which are direct child of id1 which are direct child of id1 so now in uh, so now in our case means this background color of red will be applied for 
this section and this section because these both are direct chains but the background color of red is not applied for this section because this is not a direct chain this is a child of id2 this is a child of id2 so as as here we are using the uh, as here we, we are using the child combinator so this css values will be applied for only child so now when we run this application and so now this background color of red is applied for only tails of id1 which are p tails of id1 which are p and we have one more combinator as a next sibling next sibling combinator this combinator is represented with the symbol of plus this com combinator is represented with the symbol of plus so let's take our hierarchy so here we can say that the next sibling of id1 is id3 id id4 is is also sibling of id1 but but it's not next sibling next sibling is only id3 and next sibling of id3 is id4 and and we don't have any next sibling for for our id4 and so this combinator is a next sibling combinator so now when we say hash id1 with the next sibling combinator let's take a div here and so we are telling the next sibling of id1 which is div the next sibling of id1 which is div should have the background color of red should have the background color of red so the next sibling of id1 which is div which is div is our id3 so now background color of red is applied for only this this section as as the next sibling of id1 which is div is this one and if we say here id3 so the next sibling of id3 which is div is this section so now background color of red is applied for this section we will run this application so the background color of red is applied to only this section because this is the next sibling of id3 this is the next sibling of id3 which is div so we have our last combinator as next all siblings next all sibling next all siblings in in the sense and so next all siblings for id1 are id3 and id4 and the next all siblings for id id id3 is id4 and this combinator is defined with a symbol of tilde so now when we say hash id1 tilde of div and some and some css values here so now this css values are applied for all next next siblings of id1 which are div so now all next siblings for id1 are our id3 and also id4 so when we run this application so this so this css values is applied for this both this this both siblings and here we have to be very careful we will get confused between next sibling and next all siblings next sibling means next sibling means only the next sibling and next all in next all is in the context of next all siblings next all siblings so when we say hash id1 of tilde div so the next all siblings of id1 which are div next all siblings of id1 which are div will have the background color of red and so when we say 
of for on and when we say for let's say id3 hash id3 next all siblings of d so here we we have only this one so for id3 id4 is the next sibling and also next all siblings so when we run this application now so the background color of red will be applied for only this section and so these are the four combinators these are the four combinators in our css hope you like like this video and thank you very much